this is the generic power supply that I have supposedly a 500 watt I don't think you can see it but I just read it here it's dual 12 volt uh, rail and one of them 15 amps and the other one 16 amps and the first one put out 180 watt and the second one put out 192 watt um, I was told that 2900 XT actually go over 200 watt by itself uh, on load so perhaps that's one of the reasons but just a little thing that bothers me is that I used to have a 2900 XT and then at first I was using it on one of those kind of power supply and it was okay so I guess it was the different design because the one I had was a ASUS and this one I have right now it's a diamond maybe there's something different in the designs I'm not too sure so I'm going to find out if it is the power supply or perhaps the card itself is faulty After some hustle, finally got it to work. Turns out, it's not a power supply problem. It's the graphic card and the driver. The driver was what prevented me from booting into Windows. Uh, only if I wasn't so tired yesterday. Could I think of that? So this thing. It's not necessary. Although since I got it, I'm gonna keep it. Considering uh, soon, uh, be getting the Phenon system, uh, gonna need a lot more proper power than a generic power supply anyway. So the 600 watt should do pretty good for the upcoming rig. Uh, stupid, stupid, stupid me. Oh well, it's always a good thing to have things installed properly and set up properly. Uh, that way you eliminate as much problem as possible. Little thing about the, uh, the GPU cooler that it has speed controller. Too bad the controller is actually attached to the fans, you cannot detach them and one of the fans doesn't work one of the speed controller doesn't work, only one of them works I find that kind of odd but then uh, that's what it is, I don't know if it's faulty or it's been like that because I did read a review, somebody else experienced the same thing maybe it was a bad design or something but it don't matter the fans are turning properly and it's not loud so that's a good thing it doesn't make any difference and we'll see got the driver installed let's see if we can get into windows No, it doesn't. I wonder what that means when that lights turn on. Weird. Driver's installed. And we're going to restart the computer to see if the problems still exist.
Take off for a long time. I wonder what's up. Okay. Now it's booting. Everything displays fine. Everything looks normal. Windows is loading now. So it's a result. The problem was the uh, ATI driver. It wasn't a video car, it wasn't a power supply. It's the ATI driver. I had uh, installed the 9.1 driver, which is now 9.4, just released. Uh, the 9.1 catalyst works flawlessly. 9.2, I haven't tried, but 9.3, no good. 9.4, no good. The graphic card just won't boot into Windows. It get to the uh, logo screen, it doesn't get to the welcome screen. So, all that hassle just to find out that it was a driver problem. Oh well, since I had to set up properly now, and uh, soon enough I'll have some benchmark uh, videos or gameplay videos on this graphic card and the GPU cooler. Thanks for watching.